right, Shory. Safe to say that's not the way you wanted to start the season. No, no, it's uh, very disappointing. Um, the Giants uh, were really good tonight. Uh, they were really intense and uh, they showed us, showed us up pretty much and uh, not much else to say really. They, they, were, they were really good and, and credit to them. What were some of the messages after the game? No doubt everyone here is obviously very disappointed. What were some of the key things that, that the coaches came back with? Oh, pretty much just what I said. They, they, they set the tone. They, they wanted it more and um, they showed us up and it's, it's a kick in the guts for us. Um, it's really disappointing but uh, we've got to, got to regroup and um, head into our next game uh, with, the, with the positive mindset. Uh, you, you take it one week at a time, I know that, but we've got to learn from this and we, we've got to um, play a lot better. I guess the importance of momentum was very big in this game. The Swans obviously had a lot of opportunities, particularly in the second half, and then the Giants obviously made the most of their own. That must have been really sort of hard to take at the end of the game. Yeah, look, we, we missed some easy shots on goal early, but uh, I don't think that was the, the difference. I think the difference was the attack on the ball and um, the way they went about it. And we, we just didn't go with them, and, and all credit to them, as I said, that they just played better footy. Two weeks now to, to reassess and get back on track and coming up against Collingwood will no doubt want to bounce back from their loss last night. What are some of the things you think you'll be working over the next two weeks? Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be doing a lot of tackling and a lot of contested ball because uh, we got showed up in that area and um, it's not something that we're very proud of. Uh, we pride ourselves on being a hard football club and um, we did it in patches but nowhere near good enough.